Brazil is full of possibilities. There's so many. When you come from Denmark, you just see possibilities. You think, "Wow, what a forest! What a ocean! What mountains! What desert!" You just see so what people. You just see so many possibilities. This this is Brazil, you know. It's such a huge country that when you come from Denmark, you cannot even believe it's so so big. I mean, I mean, you you really feel like, "Wow, I landed on another planet," and i mean, my heart belongs to all this uh, country. Brazil is a magical, mystical, and fantastic country. It's it's uh, crazy, marvelous. And of the thousand of people I know, I only know one guy who likes it, but who isn't that crazy. Everybody is crazy about Brazil. And f the first years, I thought it was because of the weather. Then I thought it was because of the music. Then I thought it was because of the girls. Then I thought it was because of the boys. Uh, and I always try to find out why is it that my heart beats a little faster when I'm in Brazil. And I think I found out. Finally I found out. After 10 years I found out. And it's because the Brazilians are living right now. They are living right now in now. They don't live yesterday. They don't live... Uh, tomorrow, it's right now. So to describe Brazilianness, you could say like it's uh, Tuesday, it's five uh, fifteen in the afternoon. Uh, I meet my friend uh, George. He has uh, two pieces of meat. Then I meet my uh, friend Valkyria. She have three beers, and then I meet uh, Beijo who have a little uh, grill and then, I mean, then we take the meat from Georgia, the beers from Valkyria, the grill from Beijo and nobody thinks about the way tomorrow or uh, plans in the future or cultural stuff or political stuff and so We just start and then immediately when we are starting to have a little nut party but just a gathering There's the neighbors coming, there's a taxi driver who think I don't want to work right now, I want to be a little with them. And you never, there's never food enough, at least not for me, and there's never beers enough, but everybody gets a little and everybody is right in the now. That's what Brazil is about. It's so, so huge, so big and so variated. I mean, there's this uh, big crazy rainforest here. I mean, if you never have been to Amazon, you have to go there. I mean, it's so much uh, more fantastic than a little Danish forest. And then you have the desert and the mountains and you can even freeze in Brazil. I like so much when you freeze in Brazil and then you have to go real south here. Uh, but the places that makes me most crazy in Brazil is the north here, in the northeast, Recife. Uh, and the, the beaches around Recife here, it's the coziest, the slowest kind of living and it's so, they are so aware of the African influences. So all the music has some references and I mean, yeah, I think I will find a little house and die there when my time comes. It will be in this area. And then I can, uh, I'm crazy about Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro is something that yeah it's like it's like when you see uh, at least when you are foreign and not living there it's like the girlfriend the girl in in a little higher class in high school that you always wanted to marry but you knew you can never i mean you can never marry her but you think about her all your life even when you marry another girl You will think about a little about this girl. That's how you feel about Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, it just takes your heart like a hand and holds your heart for the rest of the life. Sometimes it's like this and sometimes it's like this. But you lose your heart to that city. It's such a wonderful city. And then I also know Belo Horizonte, which is here inside the, the state called Minas Gerais. And Minas Gerais is just like... When you come from Denmark, you know, we have these four seasons uh, throughout the year. Uh, so you know snow and then the leaves fall off the trees and everything like that. But Minas Gerais is like, it must be the place on earth that God likes the most, I think. 
because it's like he just favored this state so much with a lot of uh, mountains and a lot of forest, a lot of good food. And what I like about this is also that the people are so intellectual. I mean, when they dance, it's a, a, like modern expressionist dance and uh, they have a, a lot of universities and a lot of rock music and dark black theater. And so it's, it's, it's an interesting place in Brazil. But most of all, yeah, I, 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 will, I will forget everything I said. I just like it all. What makes Brazil even a little more wonderful is that uh, beside of this huge uh, 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 way of being present, they also can add to this present very, very good music. A fantastic weather which is not always sunshine it's also nice rain in Rio or nice wind south or something uh, they can add a beautiful nature they can add uh, a, such an inter interesting cultural history they can add a little African stuff a little uh, Indian stuff a little uh, Hol Dutch stuff and a little Portuguese stuff they can add so many things to this present so the present is never boring Actually, I only been bored once in Brazil and it was like seven or eight minutes.